the southern and central portions of New Mexico offer a variety of diverse attractions to explore, and we did just that with our Suzuki XL7. Our first stop was White Sands National Monument. It's a very aptly named place, as the sands make the area look like a major snowstorm just blew through. As far as you can see, white dunes and roads plowed through the sands make it look like midwinter all year round. The monument is in the Tularosa Basin, which was formed on what was the bottom of a sea about 250 million years ago. Gypsum deposits that were in that ancient body of water turned to stone and eventually into the sands we see today in this landlocked basin. Strong winds blow the sand into giant dunes that create a constantly changing landscape in the area. But even in the shifting sands, you can find vegetation, as some plants have stems that reach down as far as 30 feet. In some cases, you're actually seeing the tops of large trees that have been all but buried by the blowing sands. You can hike nature trails and backcountry areas, or just play in the sand like you're on a giant beach with no ocean. You can even surf or sled down the dunes. A visitor's center provides information about the geology and history of the sands, and there are various ranger-led nature walks and other programs available. The White Sands name may make you think of a missile range, and in fact, the monument is surrounded by the missile testing range that's been in use since World War II. The site of the first man-made atomic test explosion is on a remote part of the range. National defense and space exploration have a long history in the region, and the Staff Air and Space Park and International Space Hall of Fame at the New Mexico Museum of Space History in nearby Alamogordo offers indoor and outdoor exhibits of pioneering efforts in the field. Among the many items on display, you'll find early missiles, rocket engines, and even a rocket sled used to test the effects of high acceleration rates on humans. A planetarium and IMAX theater next door can help add to the outer space experience. North and west of the White Sands area, you'll come upon the Very Large Array, or VLA, radio telescope. This system of 27 82-foot diameter dish antennas is used to search for radio waves from distant planets. The 230-ton antennas are moved along a series of tracks on the desert floor to adjust their focus on different areas in space. Naturally, with our thoughts turning to worlds beyond this one, we had to continue further eastward in order to make a stop at Roswell, New Mexico. The city embraces its fame as the site of what many believe was a UFO crash in 1947. It's the home of the International UFO Museum and Research Center and many businesses with space alien themes. There's even an annual UFO festival that takes over the town. Right in the middle of all these space-age points of interest is an area that harkens back to Old West history with the life and death of Billy the Kid. The town of Lincoln, where the outlaw was tried, convicted, and sentenced to hang at the county courthouse, still looks a lot like it did back in those violent days. Before the sentence could be carried out, Billy killed his guards and escaped. He was then tracked down by Pat Garrett in Fort Sumner and killed in 1881. A sizable portion of Lincoln is preserved as a state monument to the Lincoln County War, 
a bloody time from 1878 to 1881 when greedy businessmen and political corruption created a climate of death and destruction in the town. Billy the Kid played a prominent role in the mayhem as a supporter of John Henry Tunstall, a merchant whose arrival in Lincoln helped initiate the war. On a more uplifting note, nearby is where Smokey the Bear survived a devastating wildfire in 1950 and went on to become a symbol for combating the dangers of forest fires. The bear died in 1976 and is buried in Smokey Bear Historical Park. Ruidoso is the center of a resort area offering activities as varied as the Billy the Kid Casino, Ruidoso Downs horse racing track, and a number of museums of western history and art galleries. Hiking, golfing, skiing, fishing, and plenty of year-round scenic beauty are among the attractions to enjoy here. We found this entire area of southern New Mexico to make a great destination point for a vacation, with a very wide array of natural and man-made things to see and do, and we didn't even get to touch on them all. While negotiating all the varied elevations, curving roads, and open highways, our Suzuki XL7 once again proved itself with us, remaining comfortable, confident, and fun to drive throughout our travels.